moving forward students let's try to change the verbs of perfect tenses into passive voice let's try to understand to change these verbs according to this table as you know that there are three tenses present tense past tense and future tense so we have three tenses in perfect present perfect past perfect and future perfect as students you can see that we have has or have plus third form of the verb in present perfect tense for transforming this verb into passive voice what we have to do we have to add been in past perfect tense there is had plus third form of the verb and in the rule we have just to add had been plus third form of the verb in future perfect tense will have or shall have plus third form of the verb is the verb for passive voice active voice and in passive voice we have just to add been over here so students you have clearly understood that there is no need to think about the third form of the verb as third form is present in the sentences of active voices and we have just put these this third form of the verb as it is in passive voice and for helping verb has have is the helping verb for present perfect had is the helping verb for past perfect and will have or shall have is the helping verb for future perfect tense you have to remember this thing that with i or we we use shall have and with uh, words except another than i and we we use will have clear students and we have to add been to make it in passive voice let us try to understand with the help of these examples he has stolen my pen in this sentence he is subject has stolen his work and my pen is object so students you are seeing that i have put this my pen in the starting of the sentence as this is an object my pen it is a singular subject so we will use has and we have to be to make it in a passive voice sentence my pen has been stolen by the objective form of he is him he had written a letter a letter is an object so a letter had been written by the objective form of he is his i shall have sung a song a song as you know students with i or we we you shall have and words other than i or we we use will have plus uh, be plus third form of the verb so a song will have been sung by me isn't it easy to transform sentences of perfect tense into passive voice yes it is very easy let's practice some more sentences and try to find out that how much we have learned he has flown a kite my son had written an essay she will have washed clothes i have completed my work rika had cleaned the room we have played hockey i hope students all of you are able to transform these sentences into passive voice let's check out how much we have achieved a kite has been flown by him an essay had been written by my son clothes will have been washed by her my work has been completed by me the room had been cleaned by rekha hockey has been played by us so students we have learned to transform these sentences into passive voice and we have total we have uh, learned the rules for eight tenses three of indefinite two of continuous and three for perfect what common thing did we find among these tenses that in continuous tense there is first form with ing in the sentences of active voice and in passive voice we transform this ing into being and verb first form of the verb into third form of the verb and in perfect tense there is already third form of 
the verb in the sentences. We have just to add been to make the sentences of perfect tense into passive voice. Let us revise all the rules that we have learnt in this class. For present indefinite, there is first form of the verb or first form with S or ES or do not or does not. So we understand that these sentences is, uh, is in present indefinite tense and we have to use is R or M plus third form of the verb. For past indefinite, there is second form of the verb plus did not or first form of the verb. We apply was or verb plus third form of the verb. In future indefinite, there is will or shall plus first form of the verb. And in passive, we apply will be or shall be plus third form of the verb. In present continuous, there is is, are or am plus first form of the verb with ing. And in passive voice, we use is, are, am plus being plus third form of the verb. In past continuous, we use was, verb plus first form of the verb with ing. And in passive, we use was, verb plus being plus third form of the verb. For present perfect tense, we find has or have plus third form of the verb in the sentences. And when we transform these sentences into passive voice, we use uh, has, have plus been plus third form of the verb. For past perfect, we use uh, had plus third form of the verb in active voice. And in passive, we use had been plus third form of the verb. In future perfect tense, we use shall have, will have plus third form of the verb. And in passive voice, we use will have or shall have plus be plus third form of the verb. I hope students you are able to understand the rules for active and passive voice. At last student I would like to advise you stay safe, stay at home and continue your learning. Thank you.